Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Very, you say, cancel. Tired. Tired. Very tired. Uh, after, after, after work. Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult, right, to work and then come to the English class, but it's good because we're learning. Okay, uh, vamos a esperar unos minutos para ver si los demás se unen. Igual si hay preguntas o dudas, estamos a la orden. Don't have the other people connect to each other. Yeah, they are having dinner, I guess. Pero ya se van a unir algunos. I'm sure. Yes, Erling is is here. Yeah, hello, Erling. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, fine. And you? Very well. Here, enjoying the weather. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, vamos a esperar unos dos minutos más y si no, pues iniciamos.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the English class for today. Um, today is the last class of this week. Next week is the last week. So the question is, uh, how are you doing in the platform? Did you finish section four already? Yes, teacher, I, I did it. Perfecto. So, perfecto. Entonces, sí creería que todos hemos ido terminando ya la sección 4 y quizá iniciando ya la 5, ¿verdad? Para, digamos, allá por el miércoles de la otra semana, todos tendríamos que haber terminado por cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Ok. Questions about the platform? Any doubts? Any comments? Mm. Ok. Then we're going to start our class. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, daily routine and schedules. I believe that you know this, but we're going to just review about that one. So let's repeat the vocabulary, please, everybody. I wake up. I wake up. I get up. I get up. Get up. I, I, I take a shower. I take a shower. I get dressed. I get dressed. I comb my hair. I comb, I comb my, hair. my hair. I have breakfast. I, I have, have breakfast. breakfast. I go to work. I go, I go to work. work. I go to work. I start work. I, say start work. I start work. I answer emails. I answer I emails. Answer email. I have lunch. I have lunch. I have, I have lunch. I finish work. I finish, I finish work. work. I arrive home. I, I, I arrive, arrive home. home. I feed the dog. I feed, I feed the dog. I cook dinner. I, I cook, cook dinner. dinner. I have dinner. I have dinner. I watch TV. I watch TV. I go to bed. I go to bed. I fall asleep. I fall asleep. Good. So, um, I believe that you know what is that one. You know what is I wake up, I get up. It's different. It's different to say I wake up than I get up, right? I wake up is just to open your eyes. And I get up is when you go out of the bed. Take a shower, get dressed. Um, but do you have any question about this vocabulary? Preguntas para este vocabulario? Mm. I come. Yo peino mi cabello. Any other question? Questions, questions. Una pregunta, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yo antes pensé que sleep iba separado. El verbo sleep, was, eh, solo sleep, no lleva la A. En cambio acá el verbo es fall. Entonces... Fall asleep. Ya asleep ya es una palabra parecida al verbo, pero no es verbo. Es un nombre. Any other question? O sea que eh, no indica una acción, sino que indica que una. Aquí es un verbo, perdón, una, un nombre, asleep. Okay. Es un sustantivo, no es verbo. Así es. Entonces aquí el verbo es I fall. Solo que en español eso no lo podemos traducir. Nosotros siempre decimos, me acuesto, me duermo, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo digo, I sleep, es yo duermo. Pero si yo digo, I fall asleep, es me voy a dormir. Okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Any other question? Mm -hmm. Ok, so let's practice a little bit. Um, Humberto, what is your schedule like? What 
what's your schedule like? Okay, my schedule, my schedule life in, in my case is uh, I I wake up till in a half an a.m. a.m. and take a shower around 40 a.m. Um, take my my breakfast, okay. desayuno, mm -hmm. ¿sí? um, um, five thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. and go go at go that go that work go to work okay. um, around seven a.m. in my in my work, uh, go to the plan and review the assistant, assistance. Attendance. Attendance uh, of, of our personal. And, and return to my office and review some a emails around 8 a.m. Mm. And then for, for around 12 and a half, take my lunch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can say whatever you want. Okay, we are not going to participate everybody. So any volunteer that wants to share your schedule, what's your schedule like? Vamos a escuchar unas cuatro personas más. A ver quién quiere participar. Ok, go ahead. Okay. I make, I make up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. I go to gym. We go to my house at 8 a.m. Okay. I take a shower uh, and a breakfast. Okay. Um, I go to work at night. Okay. I work uh, of N or N M at five p.m. Okay. Eh, uh, get up. Get up. I fall asleep around 10 p.m. Okay. That is good. Thank you. Any other person? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Any other student that would like to share your schedule? Nobody else is too busy. Okay, not a problem. We're going to continue. Vamos a practicar mucho esto porque ya más o menos habíamos practicado, okay? So what we are going to check right now are demonstratives. These are called demonstrative adjectives, okay? So we have, it's very easy. These, these, pronunciation is different. This, singular. These are plural. That and those. Okay, what is this? Este. Este. Cuando estamos cerca. Esto, esto, esta, anything like that. This is the plural. So estos, estas, esta, anything like that. That is when it's far away, when you can't yes. touch it. Yeah, eso, aquello, aquella, anything like that. And the other word for plural is those. Oops. So it's very important that whenever you use these uh, adjectives, the nouns that we are going to use should be in plural. So we say 
this shoe, no shoes, okay? Or these shoes, plural. That is very important. Also with the verb to be. I mean, for example, with that, you can say, that is my house. Is in singular and house in singular. Those are my houses. So if you are going to use these ones, uh, you will need to be careful about the verb and also the, um, the noun that is singular or plural, depending on what we are talking about, okay? Uh, this is kind of easy, uh, but um, do you have any question before we continue? Mm. No, teacher. Creo que queda claro eso. Claro como la horchata. Good. <laughs> so we are going to practice definitely, right? So... Um, Con la manito así como el primero es porque está cerca. Y con la manita así para arriba es como que está lejos, ¿verdad? So, how is going to be the first one? This. This. This, this car. Good. This and car. the next one? That. This. That. That. Because it's far away. That. Good. That bike. And the next one? This. 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 These pencils, good. And the next one? Those. 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 Those books, very good. The next one? That. 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 That, that ball. The next one? Those. These. These. These shoes, very good. These. The next one? These. These. This yes. mouse, yes. very yes. good. It's very close and it's singular. And what about the next one? Those. Those. Those snakes, very good. The next one? This. 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 These. 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 These birds, good. The next one? That. 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 That, that cat. The next one? Those. Those. Those apples. The next one? That. That. No, this. This. This banana. All right. Good, good. Let me just check something. No. Okay. So I guess that is very easy. We are not going to stop with that one a lot. And we have another one that is also uh, the pronoun one and once. So, este va unido, this is together with the previous topic, that is the adjectives. So one and once. As you can see here, we can use the words one, once, to replace nouns in a sentence. So for example, we can say, I have two cars. The blue car is old and the black car is new. The blue car has two doors and the black car has four doors. But instead of that one, we can change it. We can say, I have two cars. The blue one is old and the black one is new. The blue one has two doors and the black one has four doors. Uh, do you have any question about the uses of one and once? Mm. No, 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 not that clear. Me, no, no me queda claro. Okay, it's very easy. Uh, lo único, bueno, veamos acá lo que dice arriba. Um, we can use the words one and once to replace nouns para reemplazar nombres. Entonces, en este ejemplo, en vez de estar diciendo a cada rato el azul, el negro, el azul, decimos, bueno, carro es lo que vamos a sustituir porque es el, el carro, la palabra carro es la que ya no vamos a estar repitiendo. Que sería, I have two cars, the blue one, en lugar de the blue car, is old, and the black one is new. Es como en español, cuando decimos, 
Imaginemos este mismo ejemplo. Yo puedo decir, yo tengo dos carros. El azul es el viejo y el blanco. Y el carro blanco es el nuevo. Y el carro azul tiene dos puertas y el carro negro. En vez de estar diciendo carro, decimos el azul. El azul es así, el blanco es así, el negro es así. Oh. Y si es plural, sería de blue ones, los mm -hmm. azules. So the only thing that this one is going to do is to replace the nouns. Y se usa mucho con these, these, that, and those. Podemos decir este. Cuando decimos este en español sería this one. Those ones, aquellos. Those ones. So that is like together. We can use together these words to explain about things that are here, close, far away, or uh, singulars or plural. Uh, do you have any question? Is that clear now? I think I Sí, solo veamos el ejemplo. Quisiera que quedara bastante claro. Aquí, si ustedes se fijan, la palabra carro se repite mucho. Es como les digo, como en español, ¿verdad? Que nosotros podemos empezar a decir, cuando comparamos o estamos en un párrafo o algo largo, estar diciendo la misma palabra no es muy uh, común que lo hagamos. En lugar de eso, usamos one para decir el azul, el negro, el blanco, el alto, el delgado, en lugar de estar diciendo las palabras. Eso es... Lo único que hacemos. Eh, vamos a practicar a ver qué tal nos va. Ok, let me check. Solo una, una, una pregunta más. Este, ¿cómo, en el caso de unir con lo que dijo de this one o, o this ones, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es que se hace? Solo this one or that one. O sea, si yo le pregunto, what is your house? Which one is your house? Y estamos ahí cerca y usted me puede volver a ver y decirme, ah, that one, esa. Aquella. Mm, okay. Así de simple. En vez de decir that, digo that one, this one, those ones. Lo único que tiene que ser acorde. Si es plural es once y si es singular es only one. Ok. 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 Good. Ok. Let's practice a little bit. Okay, um, for this one, we just need to read the sentence and check. It's going to be one or ones. You are going to tell me what will be the current one, okay? So, for example, it says, this bag is very old. I need a new one. 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 Everybody agrees? Yeah. Okay. Small pineapples are sweeter than big. Once. 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 Si se dan cuenta es sencillo porque aquí en lugar de volver a decir pineapple solo digo once. Eso es lo único que hace este, esta palabrita. The next one. The new smartphones are much faster than the old. Once. 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 Very good. Which is your car? The black? One. 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 Or the white? One. 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 Very easy. Uh, she needs new shoes. The old ones. Ones. ones are too small. Okay. If you buy two bottles of water, you get a third. Ones. Ones. Uh -huh. A third. One. One. One or ones. What do you think? One. 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 It's just one, one. Solo que es la tercera, no es cantidad. Good. Nice. These dresses are expensive. Are they any cheap? One. 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 One or one. 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 Expensive. Okay. One. Dicen one. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Jack has three pens. A red. One. One. Once. Not once. One. One. Singular. Singular. One. One. Singular. One. One. Good. And two green. Once. 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 Okay. One. 
Number nine, it says, I would like to have a cupcake. The red? One. 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 I would like to have some cupcakes. The green? One. One. One or once? One. 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 Estamos algo dividido. Ajá. Once. The green one. One, once. Es singular, one. One. Ah, pero estamos hablando de algunos, some. Ajá. O sea, aquí tenemos que venir a ver aquí. I would like to have some cupcakes. Some cupcakes. One. The green. Bueno, aquí ustedes me dicen, estamos practicando. Once. Once. One. <laughs> Y singular one. Va, agarremos el one. Vamos a ver. Y aquí pues, vamos a ver si es cierto. ¿verdad? Let's see. Ok. Your results are nine of ten. Todas están bien, excepto la última. Última. Ah, estamos hablando del de verde, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Eh, no, Porque lo que estamos hablando que... es de plural. Esto es interesante porque de hecho es el tema que vamos a ver a continuación, que son los adjetivos. Nosotros en español pues decimos el verde o los verdes, pero en inglés el color no, no va en plural, ¿verdad? Lo que va en plural es el nombre. En cambio acá, como estamos viendo toda la oración que dice I would like to have some cupcakes, no, no, no. aquí sería los verdes se ven bien. Esa sería la clave. Los verdes, pero el color no va en plural, no se puede. Lo que va en plural, por eso es importante esta palabrita, one or ones, porque ahí vamos a definir si es plural o singular. ¿Ok? Por supuesto va en función de todo, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí lo que nos da la clave es some cupcakes. ¿Ok? And the rest, they were good. Creo que... Eh, estuvo bastante bien porque solo fue la única que nos quedamos así pensando cuál será uh, ok any questions about this? Mm -mm. No, no. no good yeah I guess that now is clear is better than the last time ok let's continue then Okay, uh, as I was telling you, the next topic is a very nice one. Uh, adjectives, okay? Adjectives, um, an adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun, such as person, place, thing, or idea, okay? Entonces, esto es bien importante. Porque hay dos tipos de palabras que a veces nos confunden. Adjetivos y adverbios. Los dos describen, pero describen cosas diferentes. El adjetivo describe a un nombre o a un pronombre. O sea que yo puedo decir, um, Carla is y describirla. O puedo decir, she is. El nombre o el pronombre. Y describir. ¿Ok? Y luego dice, an adjective can tell. ¿Qué, ¿Qué nos puede decir un adjetivo? Aquí hay algunos ejemplos. An adjective can tell colors. Black, blue, coral, green, pink. So you can say, that table is black. That is a black table. Si se dan cuenta, vamos uniendo el this, that, those, todas esas palabras, el one, lo vamos a unir con los adjetivos. O sea, yo puedo decir, that one is blue. Y estaríamos uniendo todo lo que hemos visto este día. That one is blue. Those ones are pink. El color no va en plural. Are va en plural. Ones. Those. Eso es lo que tenemos que tener cuidado. Y el adjetivo no va en plural. ¿Ok? Eso es diferente que en español, hay que tener cuidado. Another thing that we can say with adjectives are size. For example, big, huge. Do you know what is huge? Yeah. 
Muy grande. Muy grande, enorme. Right. Okay. Large. You know what is large, right? Uh, little. Mm -hmm. Short. Okay. So you can talk about size. You can say uh, that house is big. You can say um, those pants are large. Se dan cuenta? Those pants, plural, are large. That is important. Shape. Do you know what is shape? Forma. Forma. O sea, podemos decir algo de una forma. Boxy. Do you know what is boxy? Como en forma de caja. Forma de caja. Ajá. O sea que si yo digo, um, that recipient is boxy. Ese recipiente es como en forma de caja. That is. Oval, that is like in Spanish. Round, what is round? Redondo. Redondo. Redondo, good. Redondo. Then we have square. What is square? Cuadrado. Este sí es cuadrado. Se dan cuenta que es diferente square and boxy. Oh. It's not the same. Okay. Triangular. Box. El boxy es tridimensional. Es tridimensional. Y eso es bien importante en los adjetivos. Porque estamos describiendo de una manera bien precisa. Hay muchos adjetivos. Yo diría que hay más adjetivos, al menos en ciertas cosas, en inglés que en español. Okay, ya vamos a ir viendo, vamos a ver otros adjetivos más adelante. Ahorita solo quiero que vayan viendo qué cosas se pueden decir, ¿ok? En triangular, que es triangular. So this is about shape. Another thing that we can say is taste. Do you know what is taste? taste? Sabor. 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 So bitter. Do you know what is bitter? Marga, amargo. Amargo. Very good. Sour. Agrio. 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 Very good. Sweet. Dulce. Dulce. Tangy. No. Picante. Something like that, like spicy. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. The other one is tart. No. Nobody knows tart? No. Es como algo que es dulce y es dulce y jugoso. ¿Ok? Si se dan mm. cuenta, aquí vamos a ver mucho vocabulario nuevo. A lot. ¿Ok? Very dulce good. y jugoso. And another good thing, another good thing is that we can say many adjectives with one thing. For example, we can say... Um, The recipient is, the recipient is green, huge, and boxy. Podemos usar los adjetivos que queramos. Okay. Very good. Let's continue with the other ones. Odor. Do you know what is odor? Aroma, olor. 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 Very good. So if I say flower, what do you think is that? Floral. Floral. Floral, huele como a flores, ¿verdad? Very good. The other one is fresh. What is fresh? Fresco, limpio. Fresco, ¿verdad? Nice. Musty, what is musty? No. Musty, rancio. Rancio, very good. Uh, the other one is salty. What is salty? No. Salado, very good. The other one is stinky. What Apestoso. is... Apestoso. Yeah. So that <laughs> is an adjective, right? Very good. Okay, the other one is about texture. What do you think is about texture? Textura. Textura. Okay. So what do you think is bumpy? No. Bumpy. Bumpy es, cuando estamos hablando de carros, sería como eh, del bumper, ¿se acuerdan? Que re, rebota. So, bumpy es como algo que rebota. 
ok Como abultado abultado algo así very good the other one is a uh, furry do you know what is furry peludo peludito <laughs> bien nice verdad como algunos animales o los peluches very good what is slimy Um, Slim es como pegajoso Pegajoso, viscoso Very good What is uh, smooth? Suave Suave, nice Squishy, what do you think is squishy? Squishy Como blando Como es algo que se puede apretar, como los juguetes de los bebés, ¿verdad? Que usted los aprieta y pillan. Something like that is squishy. Algo que se puede um, apretar, nada más. The other one is about sound. What is faint? Sonido. A sound, acerca de sonido. Very good. So what do you think is faint? Desmayarse. I'm sorry? No. Pero... Como débil Armonioso que tiene sí, Algo que es bien Un sonido bien débil Algo que no ah, es perfecto. muy fuerte Faint uh -huh. Harmonious, eso está fácil Armonioso Armonioso Armonía. Loud Gritar Fuerte Fuerte, ruidoso uh -huh. Ah, ok Ok Pleasant Placentero. Agradable. Placentero, agradable. And quiet. Quieto. Silencioso. O sea, su... como silencioso, quieto, sin mucho ruido. Very good. The other one that we have is about number. Do you know what is uh, a description mm -hmm. about number? Número. El oh. número. Entonces, los números o las, las palabras que... Mm -hmm. um, que se refieren como a un número. Si ustedes se recuerdan, hemos hablado we talked before about count and noun count nouns. So sometimes with nouns that we can't count, we can use other words like uh, much, right? That is an adjective as well. You can use it as an adjective. So in this case, number, we can say that a few is an adjective. Do you know what is a few? Oh. Algunos. Unos pocos, algunos, good. 50, eso quiere decir que cualquier número podría ser un adjetivo también. 50, um, anything like that. Many, ok, también es adjetivo. Very good. Sparse. Escasos. Escasos, very good. Two, que sería el número dos, ¿verdad? También es un adjetivo. Very good. Otro que tenemos es acerca del clima. Weather. So we have clear. What do you believe that is clear? Despejado. Despejado, claro. Dry. Seco. Seco. Very good. Dry. Foggy. Neblinoso. Neblinoso con, con mucha neblina. Nice. Rain. Lluvia. Lluvioso. Lluvioso. Lluvia. Eh, para lluvioso que sería rainy, que también es un adjetivo. En windy. Nublado. Nublado. Bueno, sería como de con mucho viento. Ah, windy. Windy. Ajá. Okay. okay, so you can see that with the adjectives, well, there are lots of things. And you can see that only in the presentation, I mean, in the first slide we had a lot of vocabulary and that is good right so we are going to continue let's talk a little bit about grammar okay um we're going to use almost always this with the verb to be okay and um it's very easy we're going to use the verb to be With an adjective, we can say that John is old, for example. In negative, we're going to say John is not. John isn't young. 
it's kind of easy. It's like with the verb to be, okay? And for the questions, we are going to change. For example, if we say, she is nervous, we're going to move the verb to be before the noun or pronoun. Is she nervous? Yes, yeah, she is. No, she isn't. Okay, any questions by now? Okay, we have a little bit of more here. For example, John is old to be and that one. John is not old. And this is another example. He is happy. I mean, just with the verb to be. If we change, for example, he for they, is going to be they are happy. The same here. Is he happy? The answer, short answer will be yes, he is. No, he isn't. And if we change the noun, the pronoun for a plural, that of course is going to be uh, with they, for example. It's going to be with plural. Are they happy? So that's the only thing that we need to be careful. And there are some other examples here. I am tired. Uh, what is that? Tired. Cansado. Cansado. Si se fijan, tampoco hay femenino ni masculino. She is. We are tired. Y tampoco hay plurales. Solo lo que nos denota plural va a ser el verbo. So we can say, I am tired. You are nervous. He is tall. Do you remember what is tall? Alto. Alto. Very good. She is happy. It is round. Do you remember what is round? Redondo. Good. It is una cosa like that. It is round. And we have, for example, we are cold. You are hot. They are angry. Okay. Any question about this? Ok. A veces también podemos utilizar otro verbo que es have. For mm -hmm. example, do you remember when we are speaking or describing people? We can say she has blue eyes. She has black hair. Ahí estamos usando adjetivos. Solo que como es de tener una posesión de algo, ¿verdad? Estamos usando el verbo have. Eh, son quizás los dos verbos que se utilizan con los adjetivos. And then we have a little exercise here, okay? So we're going to use is, isn't, are, or aren't, depending on what you're talking about. Number one, the earth, uh-huh. Is. Is. Is, very good. The earth is round. Number two, diamonds. Uh, earth. Are. Do you know what is very good? What is cheap? Barato. Barato. Entonces sería diamonds. Aren't. Aren't cheap. Very good. Aren't cheap. Do you remember what is soft? Cómodo. Cómodo. Suave. Good. So pillows. Are. Are. Soft. Are. Yeah, also. pillows in plural, right? Um, heavy, what is heavy? Pesado. 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 So a balloon? Is. 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 Not, is. Uh, is. 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 Slow, what is slow? Lento, despacio, lento. Lento, despacio. Okay, turtles are, 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 are slow. Very good. Number six, chocolate is, is sweet. Is. is sweet. Number seven, ugly. What is ugly? Fail. Fail. Okay, so a rouse is isn't. 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 isn't good, isn't ugly. And uh, the last one, bananas. Aren't blue. Aren't. Aren't. 
aren't, aren't blue. Very good. Do you have any question by now? Mm. No. Okay, very good. Nice. <clears throat> Let's continue. Okay, so we have a little list of adjectives. But first of all, as usual, we are going to repeat, okay? Um, these are adjectives about appearance, positive personality, negative personality, and size, okay? So we are going to start with appearance. Everybody, please repeat. Appearance. 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 Attractive. 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 Bald. 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 Beautiful. Bald. Beautiful. 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 Chubby. Beautiful. Chubby. Clean. 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 Dazzling. 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 Drab. 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 Elegant. 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 Fancy. 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 Fit. 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 Flabby. 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 Glamorous. 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 Gorgeous. 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 Handsome. 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 Magnificent. Magnificent. Muscular. 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 Plain. 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 Plump. 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 Scruffy. 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 Shapely. 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 Skinny. 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 Stucky. 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 Unkempt. 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 Unsightly. 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 Positive personality. Positive personality. personality. Agreeable. 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 Ambitious. 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 Brave. 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 Calm. 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 Delightful. Delightful. Eager. 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 Faithful. Faithful. Gentle. 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 Happy. 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 Jolly. 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 Kind. 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 Lively. 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 Nice. nice, nice, nice. Obedient, obedient, obedient. Polite, polite. polite. Proud. Proud. Proud, proud. Silly, silly. silly. Thankful. Thankful, thankful. Victorious, victorious. victorious. Witty, witty, witty. witty. Wonderful. 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 Zealous. 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 Negative personality. Negative, Negative personality. personality. Angry. 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 Bewildered. Bewildered. Clumsy. 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 Defeated. 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 Embarrassed. 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 Fierce. 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 Grumpy. 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 Helpless. 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 Itchy. 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 Jealous. 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 Lazy. 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 Mysterious. 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 Nervous. 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 Obnoxious. 
Panic. Pitiful. Repulsive. Repulsive. Scary. Scary. Doubtless. Doubtless. Uptight. Uptight. Warrior. Warrior. Size. Size. Big. Big. Colossal. 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 Fat. 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 Gigantic. 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 Great. 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 Huge. 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 Immense. 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 Large. 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 Little. 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 Mammoth. 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 Massive. 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 Microscopic. Microscopic. Miniature. Miniature. Petite. Petite. Puny. Puny. Scrawny. Scrawny. Short. Short. Small. 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 Tall. 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 Teeny. 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 Tiny. 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 Very good. Okay. So these are just a few adjectives. As I was telling you in English, we have lots of adjectives. I believe that some words here are kind of strange, right? It's like, what is that? <laughs> Uh, but it's very common. It's very common to have lots of vocabulary for this one in English. If you go and look for yourself, you are going to see that there are a lot of adjectives in English. Um, of course, we're going to check the meaning and we're going to set some examples. You are going to tell me some examples. But before we continue, since we finished, supposedly we finished the section four, we're going to check only section four of the platform, okay? Let me just go there, hold on a second. So we can check. Okay, section four. Okay. So um, at the beginning, we have a lesson adjective. Um, Gabriela, could you please uh, help me reading this adjective? Hello, Gabriel. In this oh. lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Likes and dislikes. Um, so you know what is likes and dislikes. Right? Actually, we're going to check that into the class next week. And we have a little conversation here. Let's practice a little bit. Let's see. Um, Kathy, you are going to practice with me. I'm going to start, okay? Hello, Kathy. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to start. Right. I'm going okay. to start, okay? Uh, do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about, about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Do you have any question here in this conversation? 
¿Qué significa que es? Yo creo. O sea, cuando usted no está segura de algo, puede decir, I guess. I guess this is correct. I guess this is not good or anything like that. Any other question? Yes. No. Okay, let's practice a little bit more. Jorge Antonio is going to be the first and Lilian is going to be the second one. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I do not like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I am big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know. Uh, mu uh, no much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Perfect. Thank you. Now, the next one is going to be, let's see, Juan and uh, Karen Melendez. Juan, are you with us? Creo que no está Juan. Bueno, Carlos, si nos ayuda con la primera, por favor. Uh, do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Hey, who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't know. I don't like pop music very much. Perfect, thank you. Just one more. Algunos voluntarios para la última? Eileen, very good. And... Susie, okay. Eileen and Susie, go ahead. Do you like rap, Susie? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. She's a singer. Oh, I get. I don't know much about work. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, then uh, we have... Uh... Another objective. Um, Edith, could you please help me reading the objective? Yes. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present. Using do or does. Along with WH question words. So that is it. So for this one, uh, we have uh, questions with do and does, right? Um, let's see, this is like the little video and then we have the knowledge check. Do you have any question about this one? Preguntas con este, todos lo hicimos ya? Yes. Okay, very good. No questions, right? Then we have the next lesson objective. Um, let's see, Vilma, could you please help me reading the objective? Yes, teacher. 
in this lesson participate with listening notice and use it in notation in question perfect intonation questions right intonation questions Okay. That is it. Yeah. So whenever we are asking a questions, remember the intonation is very important. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? So it's different the intonation. But I know that you checked on that one. And then we have another lesson objective. Uh, let's see. Herling, could you please help me reading this objective? In this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to the towels about the contestant. Very good. So this is like a TV show, the one that we have here. So we have uh, the exercise. Any questions about this exercise? No. No questions. Everything is fine, right? Okay, let's see the next one. Um, Let's see. Edith, could you please help me reading this objective? Yes. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where will for invitation is used when making plans. Very good. So this is about uh, would, right? And then we have invitations with would. This is very easy, but of course, we're going to check that. Okay, let's see. Uh, Susie, could you please help me reading this objective? By the end of the, this lesson, participants will complete, complete the use of word in question and answer. Yeah, so in this one is like the usage of word uh, whenever you are asking questions and answering. Uh, in this situation, is most likely for invitations, right? And we have the knowledge check. Verb to be uh, with world and the verbs. Do you have any questions? Anything, any comment with this exercise? No. Okay. Pero si lo entendió, vamos bien. Y si no, ya lo vamos a revisar la próxima semana en la clase. Okay. Then we have... Uh, the last objective. Let's see. Uh, Eileen, could you please help me read in this objective? In this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. Scanning for important information will be developed. Very good. So this is like a reading that we have about Christina Aguilera, right? So we need to read. And according to the reading, we need to choose the correct answers. Any questions about this? No. No. Okay, my friends. So, very good that you finished section number four. Next week, uh, we are going to continue with the class. Remember that we are going to also finish by Wednesday. By Wednesday, it's important that everybody has finished section five and the final test. So during the weekend, if you have the time, my best advice for you is to go and do the exercises. If you have questions, chat with me, and of course, it will be a pleasure to help. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night and a very nice weekend, and see you on Monday. Happy weekend. Happy Good weekend. Night. See you. Happy weekend. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.